Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Heat Ray Vision Podcast. Tonight, I got myself, Hector, also known as CN6. And with me, I got Mario. What's up? And tonight, we're going to be reviewing Fast X. Ride or... Was it Ride or Die? Or yeah, it's Ride or Die. <laughs> yeah. One last ride. For one last. For the third time. Yeah. Wasn't it like the other couple of movies where they said one last ride? Yeah, some shit like that. I don't know. I don't I remember, sworn. bro. <laughs> okay, but uh, before we get into it, guys, we just I got a few announcements here. Um... We'd like to remind you guys that you guys can listen to us on Spotify, Apple, Google, SoundCloud, and YouTube. Make sure you follow our socials at Hero Vision Podcast or go to HeroVisionPodcast.com. You're going to see all of our links through there. Also, make sure you follow our second YouTube channel called Hero Vision Clips. That's where we'll upload all of our clips. Or if you don't have enough time to listen to the whole podcast, we'll post all the highlights there. Also, make sure you follow our main page called Heat Ray Vision to stay up to date with any geek news and films, TV, and video games. Uh, the socials are at Heat Ray Vision or go to HeatRayVision.com to find all of our socials. We just, we just re- recently started that up. Mm-hmm. It looks pretty nice right now so far. Very, very crisp. Hopefully you guys are liking the post. I know some of you guys have been commenting about it. Uh, um, but yeah, all the links will be down in the description. But I want to give a few shout outs. I have a shout out for um, Sheldon. We got Sheldon. We got two Sheldon. What Sheldon is this one? This one is uh, Sheldon. Uh, uh, I'm gonna just say your full name, bro. Should mm-hmm. I say his full name? Well, let me see. Let me see if I can. Have... Sheldon M. Yeah, Sheldon M. Sheldon yeah. M. I don't want to put you. I don't want to put you on blast, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, but he, why are you saying his government name? <laughs> yeah, so, he's saying, yeah. so yeah, he says, uh, "Hey, I want to say thank you for the shout out and answering my question on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Kind of weird hearing my name on it." But I've been really enjoying the podcast. Found out about you guys early this year on TikTok about the Batman. I mostly listen to it on Spotify, but forgot you guys have a YouTube for it as well. Just want to say I really enjoyed it. And you guys are hilarious. And hope you guys make it big and successful in the future. Thank you, man. We, we appreciate that, bro. For yeah, real. man. Uh, he found us through the Batman. Oh, yeah. The then Batman. I asked him. Which one? Which bat? The, like the one? The Batman. The Batman. Like the, but like what TikTok about it? Cause didn't he, or, or was there, there only was, one? Because no, there's there one was, that blew up. Uh, where like people don't understand this movie. I forgot what the fuck it yeah, was. Probably the one, the or one, like the it's one, uh, the underrated one, or some shit. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I think it's the one where that kind of blew up and people were like stitching it and kind mm-hmm. of like hating on us. Mm-hmm. But shout out to you, bro. He uh, he ended up watching it. He actually said that. Thank you, man. That's that was first, awesome. He said that his first episode that he saw was the Batman from us. Oh, okay. He saw our very first review then. No, he's saying he found us through TikTok because of the Batman clip, clip, the one that went viral. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. But you made it yeah. seem like he watched. No, he, that's how he found us first. But then the first episode he saw was the Batman. Oh, okay, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I get you. Because of the clip. So hey man, he saw our first one. Shout out to you, bro. Yeah. So uh, yeah, shout out to you. And then another shout out as well. He didn't really send a message, but I'm just gonna say, give a shout out. Shout out to Francis, because he actually, this man is unbelievable bro he followed us on all of our socials mm-hmm. he followed like he followed us on um yeah on he, he uh heat ray vision he ray vision podcast he followed my personal fucking ig he followed your ig yeah he followed hive uh-huh. he also followed the fucking twitter yeah. he also followed the fucking heat ray vision clips socials on instagram and twitter i think yeah, no, no actually out. not twitter but still like he's been follow he followed us everywhere even through TikTok. I think he followed me on my personal TikTok as well, mm-hmm. or some shit. He followed me everywhere too. Yo, man, shout out to him. shout out to you, Francis. Yeah. What the fuck? I even That's I, crazy, I bro. noticed this, bro. I noticed this. I'm holy fuck. And he's also commenting on our posts and everything. Yo, mm-hmm. thank, bro. We appreciate it, man. We appreciate the support. Bro. I, I even actually like message him for say, hey, mm-hmm. hey, bro. I noticed that you followed us on all, all of our socials. We just want to say like we really appreciate it, man. Like it really means a lot. Uh, hopefully we're gonna be really consistent hopefully actually make this into a big thing mm. and all he said was keep up the good work guys or something mm-hmm. like that so shout out to you francis um but uh yeah guys so the announcements uh we got everything out the way so let's get right into it man fast <sighs> yeah right that's how we felt uh, after the movie. <laughs> yeah for <laughs> <laughs> literally the ending it has you like wh- what the fuck like yeah, how is that even possible we'll, we'll get into it guys yeah, uh, but, but if you guys know this will be a spoiler review spoiler right. review man and just because the movie is like fuck dude two, two almost hours. two and a half almost it's, it's not two and a half yeah, it's like almost, 217 almost two and a half and like there's a lot going on we're not gonna go super in depth we're just gonna give like an, a general like analysis a general like you know our general own opinions synopsis. right and um things that we like things that we didn't like uh, but first, let's start off with the trailer because I feel we always do that with the trailer. Mm-hmm. When we first saw the trailer, 
Mario, I'm gonna go with you first. What did you think, bro? When your first thoughts, man, when you saw the trailer, I I just said, damn, another one, another really? one, like, like DJ Khaled, another one, another one. <laughs> and I I just thought like we're gonna see some more stupid shit. Yeah, because that more, last one was crazy. Uh, that I mean, they went into space, bro. Like <laughs> they went into fucking space in the last one, bro. So no. I'm just like, I I I thought of it. I was like, how the fuck are they gonna top that? Because like, yeah, motherfuckers in cars going to space, like. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, in that movie, don't you remember uh, fucking um, Roman mm-hmm. fucking uh, in the middle of that pit and there's people are surrounding oh, him yeah, shooting, yeah, shooting at him, him but yeah. he eventually survives and kills them all by spinning in circles. And he shooting. says like, bro, I didn't get shot. Yeah, like, come what? on. Like, bro, what? And then Dom swinging on that grappling hook on the plane shit. and perfectly lands. Yeah, I know what you mean. No, in the last movie, not the plane. No, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, I'm talking about it's after that scene, right? The one with uh, it Roman. wasn't. You know, he didn't connect himself in the plane. He was trying to chase the plane, and he crashed into this metal post, and that metal post like, oh wrapped yeah, around yeah, his yeah. Tire. I know what you mean. He went like, yeah, and he yeah. swung like Spider Man. Yeah, and I think that same movie, he like grabbed these thick ass chains and, and pulled, pulled, pulled them down. We're yeah, gonna see. I remember that. We're we're gonna see a lot of uh, Dom's uh, super strength in this film again, guys. Mm-hmm. If you love it here, you're gonna love it. I mean, sorry, if you loved it in the last movie, you're gonna love it here. But um, yeah, the, the, yeah. Same with Mario, man. When I saw this, when I saw, excuse me. This trailer, I was just like, another one, man. Like, really? Like, let's just let's just stop. Let's just not do this. Like, I don't want to see Vin Diesel headbutting a helicopter into pieces. <laughs> right? Like, let's just stop. <laughs> All right? I'm trying to see some ass and nice cars. <laughs> Which like, we did get to see. Like, but so it one. was very sh- short. And very short, but yeah. we'll get to that in a bit. Um, but yeah, that's our thoughts. We're like, okay, cool. What can they do and stuff? And then we later find out that this is a part one to part two. That's what I, at first. That's what we found out. Okay. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, it definitely ends like in a cliffhanger, whatever. Most definitely. Um, Obvious as hell. Um, but then later on, we also we also saw that no, this isn't going to be just part two. We're making a trilogy. Yeah, because of our that our, one of our listeners told us. You remember? That's how we. That's Who? how I found out. Who? Uh, I forgot his name, but he oh, told yeah, me. Remember, yeah, we got a it question. Was, it was He's Sheldon. Like, not, not Sheldon M. It was the other Sheldon. The other Sheldon? Yeah. Yeah, he told us about it. And I was like, what? It's going to be oh, a trilogy? Oh, you're right. You're right, bro. Yeah. yeah we didn't even know about that. Mm-hmm. And so, so I was yeah, like. So we looked it up, and yep, sure enough, it's fucking real. And I don't know how they're going to fucking do it. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be like, Mario and I, we already, uh, what's it called? We already said this before, even off podcast. Is like. If it wasn't for the podcast, we probably would have skipped out on this film. Not yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we're on. A, I told you on the way, we were, and we were entering the theater. I was just like, yeah. bro, like honestly, bro, if we weren't doing the podcast, I would have skipped this movie. I'm gonna be honest with you. Right? Oh yeah. And I was just like, uh, I'm just like, I'm not excited for it, bro. And I and I I don't want to say my rating, but I said like what I thought I was gonna give my rating there too. And I was I was like one point off of what I thought I was gonna give. Oh okay. It. We'll, but we'll, like we'll I don't want to say it now. Yeah, don't but, say it now. We'll save it at the end. But uh, to get to the, you, you got anything else to say? Uh, uh, I think I was gonna say something else. Uh, let's see. No, no, I think I think that's it. Okay, whatever. No, I was gonna say like what the overview of the story was gonna be about. That's why. Oh unless yeah, you, unless you want to do it, go ahead. You're better explaining it. Because we learn in the uh, in the trailer right off rip yeah. is that we get Jason mm-hmm. Momoa playing as the new villain, mm-hmm. and this he just comes out of the blue, mm-hmm. and the reason why is because he is the son. of of the villain in Fast Five, in Fast Five, where they steal the vault, the, the vault, the bank thing. Yeah, yeah, they steal the vault and everything, and they end up killing um, with a the father, the father, and then we ne- obviously we never got to see it and stuff. Here they explain it that he, the Jason Momoa's character was after them through the vault, and they he actually you know gets hit off the water, and he ends up killing. So it's it's literally like a revenge story. Like oh wow, like he had a son that we didn't know about. He's back. Actually, do we no? This is, no, we didn't know about him, right? We didn't know about him. And, and, and Fast say. Five when that came out, we didn't know about. Yeah, him. I was about to say. Yeah, dude, dude, I haven't seen those movies so long. I, I, every movie I just saw them like once. I think, yeah, man. guys, if we forget like, oh, you forgot in this movie, which explains this in this movie. Yeah, just absolutely. know, guys, like we. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, this, it would have been perfect. If Javi was here because Javi, he. He fucking knows yeah, it. Yeah, Javi right? knows the lore. He knows the Fast and Furious lore, right? Mm-hmm. But not me and Hector, bro, because we only watch these movies once, especially mm-hmm. the later ones, because we know that we we are just sick and tired of them, so we don't want to. Yeah. We 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 don't we want to give space in our brain dedicated to that fucking franchise. Right. But um, so, so we so we miss something. Just know that, all right? And we and we do apologize. Just yeah. letting you know. But yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, we just want to make sure, guys, if we missed Easter eggs or anything like that, or if we are confused on who's who, just bear with us, okay, guys? So, essentially, it's like a revenge uh, A revenge story. plot, yeah. Yeah, man. It's a, re- it's a revenge plot. Um, you know, uh, everyone's, you know... It start the movie opens up with the traditional family barbecue stuff. No, it, it opens up with right off the rip. We're oh like, my what? God, we're, yeah, yes. yeah. I know, I know. But hold on, wait, 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 bro. It, the movie right off the rip lets you know what type of movie it's gonna be. Like, all right, oh, what are we in for? What kind of stupid shit are we in for? I forgot about this, bro. I forgot. This Dude, is the most bro, stupidest oh shit. Oh my god, bro! I couldn't believe. It. And the the thing is, like, they try to pull it off as cool, but it wasn't. It but wasn't but let's cool. explain. Let's explain. All right, so the movie opens up right. We're in California, right, Los Angeles, and we see we see Dom's car, right, and he's drifting around street poles and shit, going fast. Even at some point, jumping in the air. Remember, he did a little jump, right? Badass music in the yeah, background. badass music in the background, right? And he uh, they stop. And Dom gets out the passenger seat. I'm like, what the fuck? Dom wasn't driving? Because I thought it was Dom doing that shit, right? But he gets out the passenger seat. I'm just like, oh, it must be uh, his girl. I forgot her name. Mm-hmm. But uh, I thought it was her, right? And it like just like it pans down to him like like lowering, like getting down so he can talk to the person driving. And it's his fucking son. <laughs> his kid who is like, how old is he? Like eight, nine? I don't know. Nine, ten years old? And he's fucking, he was the one doing, dr- drifting around the light poles yeah. and shit, going fast, jumping in the air. Bro, the steering wheel was just bigger than his entire body. Yeah, bro. Like, and we're like, bro, are you fucking No, but kidding? like, you know, here, here, bro. It's a, it's, it's a movie, bro. The excuse is a movie. Okay, we get it, right? Because we're going to see some, cr- we're gonna, bro, there's some crazy shit that happens here. Um, uh, But um, this one, I just felt like. Like what Mario said, they try to make it cool, but to me, it kind of felt cringy. He's like, it oh, was fuck, cr- like, it was what? Like, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> was like and okay. then Dom's, I forgot what he said exactly, but it's a long line. He's like, he's got to feel the road. And feel the, feel feel the, the engine. Feel, feel the it. engine, feel the road, and feel the fluid. And don't, worry, don't worry about messing up. You're still learning. A lesson learned is a lesson gained. Or give <laughs> something like that. <laughs> something like that, bro. Like, we have a lot of. <laughs> That's another thing that we've had. Oh, uh, my God. oh thing yeah, that's another thing is, is is like the script itself and like the dialogue with certain characters. Like I, I would say with every character, in my opinion, and for me at least. Let me think. Let me think. Yeah, man. I think with just, every character, every 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 conversation, yeah. it just felt like did not bro, feel right, dude. It all felt very even, cliche. Even the parts were like it's meant to be something S- like serious, s- like serious or sad, mm-hmm. like sentimental. Like me personally, I was telling this to Mario. Me personally, bro, those moments were like. It was like kind of sad, like oh, the reminiscing, like you know, you need family, like that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel shit. I think the only time where I actually felt something was in the beginning of the movie, where they're when they were the, having their barbecue yeah, and Dom, same. And Dom was inside his garage, mm-hmm. and he looks at his wall, and he had pictures of Brian up throughout all the movies. And, and shit, then, and yeah. then there's a little callback to that movie where like they start playing "If I See You Again," yeah. the little chime. They, they, it's just it's just uh, what's the word? The like, instrumental. Instrumental to that. Yeah, song, like yeah. a little chime, whatever. And then mm-hmm. you see Brian's pictures. I think mm-hmm. that's when I was like, dang, man. like yeah, like, mm-hmm. dude. Like I grew up on the Fast and Furious movies, man. And Brian was, I'm gonna say this. Uh, I'm gonna open up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. But when I was a kid, I grew up with Fast and Furious. I love the, like, Need for Speed, Blacklist. I would have, my parents would buy me, like, Hot Wheels and stuff. And I'd have muscle cars as well. Mm. And I would play in the dirt. Mm. And I'd make my own. um, Racetracks? My own racetracks in the dirt. I would do that on the beach. Yeah, Yeah. that's what I would do. And I remember uh, my mom, she helped me cut up a cardboard box and make it to, like, make multiple to like one's a gas station the other one's a, no, a garage or whatever yeah. so i'd play outside and no joke i grew up with these movies and i loved everything so much bro that no joke the way i played is like i was like my character like i was myself mm-hmm. and whenever i would like you know when you when you when you're talking when you're, when you're talking to yourself you're just playing and stuff mm, yeah i would legit like my friend would be brian i'd call him brian <laughs> And I'd call, I'd call the other dude Dom, and I had a yeah. black muscle car, and I'd be like, "Yo, Dom, come on!" Or like, I'd have Roman and uh-huh. and everyone, even um, in Too Fast, Too Furious. Uh, remember Jimmy? Mm, Jimmy, yeah, I remember Jimmy. Do you remember, I think he was the Asian guy. Asian dude, yeah. So when I went to the body shop when I was playing, oh, I'd be like, "Yo, my. Jimmy!" I swear <laughs> to God, bro, dude, I swear to God, dude. Oh, and man. and sometimes I'd play music too. I'd have like, I'd uh, I'd play the. Like the Tokyo Drift song, I'd and play. Then, yeah, then, I'd, Tokyo, or, yeah. Or like I'd play the other songs that played in Too Fast, Too Furious, like the mm-hmm. ludicrous one, like Too Fast, Too. F- 
and dude that's how much i like grew up with it man and so and then when we got the news of paul walker passing that shit was tough man I, like when I, I was actually really upset when i was mm. dude how old were we man when that happened dude uh were we in middle school when that happened dude i don't remember i could check how i could if check if you tell me the year i'll be able to tell you if we we're in middle school or high school well, no shit. I, because what's it called um it, it for sure wasn't how we were in elementary school that's for sure 2013 yeah, we were in middle school. When yeah, yeah, it was middle school. 2013, well, uh, November. Happen, November. He, he was just going really fast, right? Yeah, he, he uh, lost control. No, no, so he was in... This is right here. Walker died in a single vehicle collision on November 30th, 2013 as a passenger in a speeding oh, car. Oh, yeah. His father and daughter filed separate wrongful death lawsuits against, against Porsche. So, yeah, some, like... He was a passenger. That his driver lost control. Mm. Then they crashed, and then it, got, and it, it went engulfed in flames. Yeah, and obviously the hey the, I think there was a quote by by him. That's what I call him, Brian, by oh, Paul yeah, saying yeah. like, if I die in a car crash, or whatever, just no I was smiling or like something like that. I don't know yeah. some some shit like that, guys. If you guys yeah, let me I know. know what you mean. So that's how much I love these characters, man, and like, and how i grew up with it so then once i started them to see the transition like with fast five and like fast six where it was more action based mm. i think i liked it like for fast five and then fast, fast uh, six i actually liked the whole actions take like, okay cool but then after when brian when sorry i can't keep calling brian when fucking paul walker died mm. that's where i kind of i lost interest i was like okay cool like this he was the fucking main character now it's obviously dom whatever and then the movies just started getting more ridiculous and ridiculous, and I just lost it, dude. I just didn't give a fuck anymore. I'm like, whatever. And I told Mario this. is like, I truly believe that the Fast and Furious franchise died with Paul Walker. That's definitely going to be a, a hot take right there, man. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that once Paul Walker died, that's when the fucking franchise started going fucking going downhill, bro. Where it just, it was things, it's just bad it's just bad shit i don't know how to explain it man it's just i didn't i that's just what i think uh what about you mario no i i would definitely agree i mean i i i have after five really i, I never saw the one after he died the one where oh. like they have the uh, i'll see you again song like oh oh and that's another thing i wanted to bring that up can you put a pin in that don't mm -hmm. forget don't forget i didn't forget the last time that's another thing i forgot so guys if you guys haven't listened to our 100 subscribers special um, go listen to it. But there was a question asked by Luis about CGI stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? And I remember how I said, oh, uh, they oh, use CGI yeah, for Paul Walker or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I was wrong. Javi listened to the podcast and he corrected me, obviously, because Javi knows all this shit. Mm -hmm. He told me that he actually filmed half of that movie. Oh, so it was so it wasn't it wasn't uh, full like CGI AI shit. It wasn't completely like that i guess mm -hmm. that's like something like that that's oh, i remember okay. that's what he uh that's what he told me but anyways going back uh to you no like but yeah said, that's what I, I think bro okay no i i'm disagreeing with you because like i said man i really saw i saw i seen like the last yeah. the last one i clearly remember watching before like i skipped was fast five i clearly remember that one because i i really enjoyed that one too but uh the ones after that until really the one before x the one when we saw all three of us, you, me, and Hob. That was the one I last, mm. like, when I picked which, it up again. Uh, which is the one where, like, they were in Dubai and they I crashed through the I, fucking skyscrapers? I know what you're talking about. Is that I, six? I, I, think I think that so. was six. Because I, I, I stopped watching after that. That's what I'm saying. I stopped watching after that, too. And then once I started watching the other one, seven or whatever, mm. I didn't like them. Because I did like five and six. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's when it just started going okay all right guys like it just started going out of control like i said maybe i'm just biased maybe i'm just biased maybe the reason why i'm hating these newer movies i guess is because maybe paul walker's not in it but not even then it's, i feel like it's just getting too out of hand man i mean i'm not i mean i love these i love the ogs more but like i don't definitely don't have the attachment you have yeah but even i can admit like these are just they're they're getting they're too over the top they're, and like this is a this is a point where um, where Javi and I, we have a disagreement because Javi likes the series, uh -huh. and I tell him, "Nah, bro, they should have stopped it or whatever." And Javi, he makes this point where, like, well, here's the thing, man, like, uh, they needed to do something with it because it can't just be drag racing in the streets forever. Like, it gets gonna get boring. At the time, that was the fucking, yeah, that that was the shit. Does that make sense? Mm. But now it's like, come on, bro, we need action and shit. I'm like, okay, if that's fine, then they should have just ended it. 
they should have just ended it with Tokyo Drift and let that be its own thing. And then if you want to do this type of Fast and Furious, make it a reboot with something else. With new different like, characters. Not different. Yeah, sure. Maybe different characters or something. Like, mm. or, or name or may, have it completely different. I don't know. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't know. That's just like my take. Like even the cars uh, back then, like it w- is a lot more different. I remember because back then it was early 2000s and stuff. You know how the cars were? How like they were bright colors and they'll have decals yeah, and uh, and they had the uh, underglow. That's what mm-hmm. it's called. The, underglow. Yeah, okay. underglow. That shit. That shit's fucking raw. I love that shit. Like how it was in, in Need for Speed Blacklist. How you could customize your car. Mm-hmm. Now. Now people don't really do that when they customize their cars. Now it's very sleek and simple. They don't do underglow. They don't the whole, do the whole decal. And I remember there was a person, um, the person in 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 my life at the time mm-hmm. who was really into cars. And that person would tell me, like I would tell him, because that person was like a cars person. I was like, nah, like me, I'm not like a really cars person. Like I'm not gonna open up the hood. Oh wow, you got a little. You got a V12 engine with a six i9 core. What? V- I don't fucking know. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, have you seen a super fast? It's a parody of uh, Fast and Furious. Uh, I don't think he so. He opens up the hood. What the hell? He got one of them Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy. Uh, fuck, what's that? I can't say it. The thingy majiggers. Like, <laughs> I can show you a clip. I can show you a clip. It's a parody oh, of, I gotta uh, watch of, you then. of uh, Fast That's and Furious. Period. It's called Super Fast. Uh, I'll show you that clip. It's funny as fuck. Uh, but anyways, so that person would tell me, it's like, yeah, uh, th- that type of styles with cars, whatever, is respected. But like, people, we don't, that's not the thing anymore. Same with underglow. Like people, mm. it, they just switched it to the point where like, if you do underglow or if you do like the decal, like Fast and Furious, you're kind of viewed as like corny. And me, I remember, nah, I remember that. telling her like, fuck that. "That's fuck, man, fuck that. I don't care if I'm corny, man. I'm gonna that make my car wrong. like that. Yeah, yeah I know like I'm gonna have it like that, whatever." Also, like when I would call the wheels like the rims, mm-hmm. like they're called wheels, not rims. I'm like, what? I've always called them rims, like the metal part. Yeah, the metal parts are rims. That's what they are. No, they, no, the car community hates that, bro. The car community says no, they're fucking wheels. It's not your rims. Me, I think of wheel everything all together. So the rims and then the tire, that's a wheel. Uh-huh. But not for them. They the car community now, like or I guess always, I don't I'm not familiar. They always said no, that's not it's not called rims, they're called wheels. Ah. So what do you guys think? Are they are they rims or are they wheels? Let us got let, let us know. I don't know about that. I, I don't know. That's that's a rim, motherfucker. That's a rim, not a fucking wheel. I never knew that. I mean, honestly, I never yeah, fucking bro. knew that. I never fucking knew that. And same with Underglow. Like I said, it, like, you nah, fucking do. For me, the nah, Underglow, the, the, the underglow was my fuck. favorite fucking part yeah, of the dude. car. Like, yo, is she green? Look at that. You know what I mean? But it's illegal, I think. Yeah, it's that's why. I, yeah, it's illegal. Which we, fuck the, man. Fuck, fuck why the is that illegal? Why is that illegal? I don't know. Like, what's the actual reason? Is there a reason, like, oh. The, uh, Maybe it's, like, distraction because like, of bright tr- green. Uh, fire trucks get confused or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is there a reason for it, for it being illegal? They, I don't know, dude. I honestly don't know, but oh, I, I do know they're, they're illegal. I remember my, my uncle in the early, yeah, I was, like, early to, early 2000s, I guess. Maybe 2008, something like that. My I had an uncle, bro. He had a uh, Honda Civic. Mm-hmm. And it was all black. It was pretty well. It was like like cool Fast and Furious type shit. And he had underglow, mm. and, they, and it was red. That's and he would right. turn them on, and like he'd show me and stuff. And I'm like, yo, that's fucking dope. And then he would turn them off. I'm like, let's drive with it on. And then he's like, no, that's when that's how I know. He's like, no, it's illegal. You can't do it. Mm. You could only like have it on for show or whatever. Ah, okay. And I'm like, dude, what? I'm, that's why I'm trying to drive with that bitch. I know, right? That'd be raw as fuck. But um. But yeah, so anyways, oh fuck, man, we we just went on a crazy tangent. Yeah, I know. Uh, where are we at? Um, uh, okay, well, okay, yeah, we said the dial, some of the dialogue, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was some say. moments were like serious. We just didn't feel shit. The serious like, moments just didn't, they didn't hit at all for yeah. me, honestly. Like, like the one, the one thing I would point to was when um, Roman and the other dude, what's his name? Like his best friend. Fuck, dude, yeah, I forgot his name. It's Ludacris. Ludacris. Yeah, that guy, Ludacris. Obviously, when they're after they just had their little fight in London or whatever. They're on the plane, and Roman's like, like he feels like shit, like damn, a terrible leader, all that. And then Ludacris is over there trying to cheer him up, right? And then like, like you lose me when like they they like, <laughs> like the writing here. I think he said like like uh, Roman, don't worry about it. Like who got us through? Who, who got us to London? Who, whose idea was that? That was your idea. Yeah. And you know who does that? A leader. A leader, a leader does. I'm just like, bro, what the fuck are we doing? And he starts sneezing. 
He's like, what, are you good, bro? He's like, I'm just allergic to your, your bullshit. bullshit. Like, <laughs> oh, my like, God. That's another bro. thing. With, with the with the comedy in this movie, it felt like they wanted to do some like MCU comedy. And I get it. There was always comedy in these movies. I do remember. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, man, I don't think I laughed once from the, from the in, from the parts where like it's intentionally supposed to be funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I know. I guess I, I, yeah. I don't know if I'm a hater or if I'm a bitch motherfucker or something. I don't know. I I just, don't, it just nah, wasn't really funny to where me. Where they wanted to be funny, I never laughed. I'm That's what I'm saying. The only times I did laugh though, like genuinely laugh. I know what you're saying. Yeah, was, fu- was fucking Jason, Jason Mom- Momoa's <laughs> character, dude. That man <laughs> is a character. That yeah. That is crazy. And, and you know, and Mario doesn't agree with me on here because I was asking him during the movie, and he's like, "Nah, man." And this might be a hot take. I don't know. I I actually really like Jason Momoa's character as a villain. Mm-hmm. And I guess the reason why I like him is because he reminded me, like, of one of those psycho, crazy, like, villains. Like, he, like maybe, like, the Joker or something. Like, he was really psycho. He was kind of perverted. He didn't really, like, give a fuck. He, like, he, w- he looked like pure evil, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. And I don't know. He was also very funny as well. Mm-hmm. And I guess, I don't know. I just really liked his character. And Mario... Uh, you said you had disagreed, right? For me, I, I to me, um, I obviously I, I've seen that that character trope done before, and part of it had is not saying that Jason Momoa did, did a bad job. Is that I just can't see Jason Momoa doing that type of character. Really, mm. it's like I can't like I can't see you. Oh, you can be a, you can be a bad guy. That's but, not a fair critique, bro. But then I was, I'm also gonna you're, say where I just didn't really buy it. You're, also. Pu- you're pulling a Moon Knight right now. What? Don't you remember when we watched Moon Knight? You're like, oh, I can't see Oscar Isaac talking in a British accent because I'm used to him as so and so in Star Wars. I'm just used to him talking Don't you not in that? a British accent. Oh, he's not British. He's not like he's not. He's not. I never. No, in Moon Knight, someone he else talk- said that, not me. No, no, like, no, fucking no, 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 no. Javi. No, 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 no. In Moon Knight, he talks in like a British accent. Yeah, and I said like, bro, it's like when he was non-British, I fucked with Moon Knight. Yeah, but you said you didn't like when he was talking in a British accent. You didn't like that Moon Knight portrayal or whatever because you cannot see Oscar Isaac, the actor. British. Yeah. British. Do you remember that? You said that. That, and I just think he didn't pull it off the accent well. Nah, don't switch up. Yo, I wish <laughs> Javi was right here, bro. I swear, I'm gonna send this to him. Yeah, uh, right, dude. But that's not what you said, Mario. I could have. I, you said, I know how. Nah, bro. I, I, I just can't take him seriously. And we're like, why? Yeah. And you're like, British nah, bro. Because the British accent, bro. I'm just not used to Oscar Isaac like doing that or whatever. I know him from Star Wars or whatever. Who the fuck he was? And then me and Hive were like, Mario, that's not really a fair critique, bro. You can't say his shit's trash because just because you can't see the fucking actor. Speaking mm-hmm. that way, like, right, but either way, that's what you're doing right now with Jason Momoa. But yeah, I, I'm saying, like, I think it was like cringy for me when he would like do some mm. of these scenes. I'm just like, eh, like, even then, like, I, like I said, take out, like, I, I can't see him pull off that character, okay. right? The reason why I can't see him pull off the character because I think it's cringy, like, you know what I mean? Okay, and like, I know what type of remember, I made the I made the comparison to you after where I was just like, you know what, he reminds me of, he reminds me of Voss from Far Cry 3. Because Voss is the atta- the exact same way, but he's not he's not as how should I say um, he's not as I don't remember he if he was like that like like sexual you know what I mean like how you how he would like uh, li- <laughs> how he licked Brie Larson's like <laughs> like I don't Dude. I don't remember that he could have done that Voss could have done it but I remember just enjoying it more in Far Cry Three if that makes okay. sense I think what Mar is trying to say and he's, is like. Because Jason Momoa's character here, his villain, like, he was a bit, like, feminine. You know, he, like, moved in, like, a feminine way. He, he dressed himself a certain way. He, like, painted his nails and stuff like that. And I think that's what you're saying is, like, he had that type of mentality of, like, craziness. Mm-hmm. But he didn't, but that Voss character from, what is Voss you said? Va- I'm pretty sure his name was Voss. Uh, sure from was Voss. Far Cry, he didn't really dress or, like, act kind of feminine. Not that I remember. Granted, this game okay. came out a long ass time okay. ago, but he was also that crazy yeah. psycho that would lick knives and shit, fucking kill Dude, people. Dude, once we the first part where we see him crazy as fuck, as remember he kills like two guards or whatever. Yeah, and he, he licks. licks his he licks the fucking blade, licks the blood off this blade. Yeah, Dude, yeah. even like I me I don't know, man. Me personally, man, I actually liked this villain, man, and especially with her with him like <laughs> licking uh, that girl. What's her name again? Brie Larson. Yeah, licking her. I, was, like, I didn't expect it. I was like, yeah, what the fuck? Like, yeah, that's fucked up. But, like, I I like that shit. <laughs> Is that weird? 
Is that weird, bro? Like, no, no I didn't like it because she licking because he licking a girl. Bro. <laughs> I know. I like it because it. it's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, I like it because he's like, yo, what the fuck? This is a weirdo. Like, he's a creep. Like, yeah, he don't give a fuck. I know. <laughs> like, some of the moments are funny. Like when they first race. Remember, uh, we got the side where like, uh, where they're they're about to do that drag race. Drag race. Um, mm. I said drag race. Yeah. <laughs> drag race. <laughs> What about a drag race? Want to do a drag race? <laughs> you know what? I feel like his character would actually do something like that. His character yeah, would say that's that. That's actually true. Say, hey, uh, Dom, you want to do a drag race? Who do you want to do? Drag race. <laughs> <laughs> so we oh, see it in the trailer. You remember in the trailer where Dom was like, let's race. Yeah. Typical whatever. So we get that scene. It's just one race, guys. On I know. And they're Sucks. at this like meetup or whatever. And he's there. He's like, "All right, one million dollars to the victor, if, to the, yeah. yeah, to whoever wins or whatever." And then he ends up. Jason Momoa is like side ends up pulling pulling guns on Dom, and then Dom and his friends, whatever, pull guns on him, and then they do the thing. And then uh, Jason Momoa is like, he like stand, he puts his hands on his hips, like, "Well, this is awkward." Like, yeah. he's, I don't know how to explain it, bro. He's just, I, I don't know. I like no, his character, man. Don't get me wrong. He was like the parts where he wasn't like. Like, I don't think the movie was intending to be funny. Like, obvious, like, super obvious shit. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. when they were in Rome. And uh, okay. you had those two, like, computer nerds. Remember? He's like, computer nerds, come with me. Remember, I have your family. So, like, oh, they're yeah, on top yeah. of the building. And, like, the bomb's getting thrown around or whatever the fuck. They're still transporting it. And Jason Momoa was like, hmm, what should we blow up, guys? Like, any suggestions? Like, uh, what, the Coliseum? It's like, you guys are monsters. Like, <laughs> you guys are monsters. Like, okay, <laughs> but, I'll okay, do it. I'll do it. Like, y'all, y'all go, I'll see you in hell. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that made me laugh. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, y'all going to hell. And, like, <laughs> yeah. and, and he was just talking to himself. Yeah. That, bro, I love those kind of villains, bro. Mm. I just love those villains. And another scene is when Jason Momoa is painting the nails of... Uh, oh, of, yeah. like painting toes of, of someone mm. and he's talking and we're like okay he's talking to somebody he's talking to himself and it pans out to these two dead guys bro like just fucking dead and their fucking eyelids are held together with duct tape and like their faces mm. kind of like rolled up with duct tape and mm. he's just talking to himself and like he's that fucking weird and crazy and like I don't know man I personally like it and I saw a clip as well is that the uh I know this is this is kind of like a little bit of a tangent, but we talked about how um, uh, the older movies were more practical, and then it starts getting insane. <laughs> <What are you laughs> gonna, gonna say? <laughs> There's a video of the director said that hey, the last movie everyone went in space. There was a bunch of crazy shit. This movie we wanted to go a bit more practical. Yeah, and I mean, in a sense, yes, this movie is more practical than the last one. But there's still some crazy shit that happened. So a lot of crazy. Uh, shit. But before we get into it, get into it. Another thing I guess I want to mention uh, is um, so I guess my okay my highlight would be Jason Momoa's character, bro. I'm not gonna lie, like mm-hmm. that thing is my highlight of the fucking movie. And I guess another thing that I, I initial that I have is the fucking the CGI man. The CGI here in this movie was not great at all. Like it was not great. It was super fucking noticeable. Mm-hmm. Like it was. It was just it's, it looked worse, bro. I don't remember like watching a Fast and Furious movie that looked like that. Like for example, mm-hmm. when the the hamster ball bullshit that bomb was, was going rolling down the stairs was going down the one of the stairs, and Dom was like, "I gotta go chase it" or whatever, and he starts going reverse down those stairs. Mm-hmm. That part, that whole scene looked super CGI and like super fucking fake, like mm-hmm. practical my ass, bro. Like. I don't know, dude. It, I didn't really like that. There were some scenes like that that we didn't like. Um, uh, a lot of cameos in here. I guess we should get into it. Oh, I guess, yeah. Uh, the first, the first, okay, was it the, uh, not necessarily, okay, the first cameo we got was, uh, do, oh, yeah, we find out that that girl in the drag race is the sister of that one girl that died. Yeah, Meadow, Meadow Walker Thornton Allen, the daughter of the late Fast and Furious star Paul Walker, has a small role as a flight attendant. Okay, that's that scene. When that's the scene when they're in their plane and mm-hmm. uh, John Cena has his kid. Oh, yeah, that's another thing throughout the movie. John Cena shows up, his character, Jacob. Jacob, yeah. And he ends up uh, taking care of Dom's kid while everyone else is, like, going after him and mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. And i guess we could talk about that real quick now that we're on it we're on john cena mm-hmm. like put a pin in this mm-hmm. with john cena this entire movie he was just like a babysitter okay another thing as well mm-hmm. is 
I truly believe they changed his. Co- I truly believe they changed his character uh, completely because the John Cena, John Cena's character in the previous Fast and Furious, I don't remember him being this goofy. I remember him being actually like serious and, and kind of a little bit of gruesome and stuff and now here he's all like happy and like acting all goofy and stuff with the kid and mario and i made the connection he reminds us of peacemaker and to yeah. me i'm like okay i wonder like why did they change his character like that i don't know if i necessarily like that to me you it's just I mean? like you can be like you don't have to be how you because i'm pretty sure in the, mo- the movie where he first appeared and he was the villain right he yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but like obviously he can change. Like, oh, but people change. Like, you know, time. Yeah, passes. but this fucking much. We're like, we don't. Yeah, no. Nah, like, like, you telling me that whole like him being, I'm not saying gruesome because he's still like he still kicks ass when we when we first see him. Right, he fucks all those yeah, guys yeah, up. Yeah. But to him to be like completely like, like that like saw, goofy. Yeah, like, acting not, like, I say so, like goofy. He, dude, he'd be yeah. acting like peacemaker. Let's be real. Yeah, like like peacemaker. It's just like what the fuck? Like this wasn't this his character. Yeah, this wasn't his character. Like you can be a little bit goofy. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, everyone yeah. is in this fucking franchise. But like to be that goofy to, to, to compared to when we last like, it's, saw. Like, yeah, Jacob, it's like a one eighty, bro. It's like yo, what the fuck happened, bro? Like what? So yeah, I don't know if I actually like that. Like I guess the only reason why I like. I it, guess like the only people can say like, well, he's taking care of a kid. You want him to be serious around nah. kid? Like, and I get it, right? Nah, I see where bullshit. you're coming from, but at the same time, he can still be like hey i'm taking care of a kid but also be yeah. that the jacob we remembered from the last one was showing a little bit of character development with him being goofy you know yeah, what i mean yeah yeah but sometimes like to, to 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 the point where we're making comparisons to peacemaker is like what the fuck like y'all yeah. really changed his character mm-hmm. so uh, so okay so going back to the cameos right mm-hmm. um we get that the flight attendant mm-hmm. uh and but then before that actually the first i think the first cameo we get what the one do you miss one? When you were watching it was uh Debbie Ryan. Oh yeah, Jesse. Debbie Ryan. Yeah. yeah, or from Sweet Life on Deck. Yeah, this was the part where uh John Cena and Dom's like, son mm-hmm. try to leave the country, right? Or yeah, goes, I, I'm guessing they try, they're, yeah, they're going to the airport. Yeah, they're going they're at the airport and they run into these people like they're like like a rock star couple or whatever. Like, yeah, they both have like dyed hair. And apparently it was Jesse, right? It was it Jesse. Because De- like at Ryan. first you don't you don't really see their face that well. All you hear is the voice, and I, and I'm watching it. I'm just like, wait a minute, why does that voice sound so fucking familiar, right? But then you actually you get a close up of their face, mm-hmm. and I'm like, holy shit, that's Jesse. And I look I at Hector, it, but <laughs> Hector. <laughs> This is this should give you a thought about how Hector was enjoying the movie, bro. Hector told me he's like, honestly, bro, I didn't, I'm I kind of spaced out. <laughs> <laughs> i swear to god bro i spaced out dude spaced i just wasn't out, really i wasn't bro. paying attention i was like okay like i don't care like because i wanted confirmation i'm like bro was that jesse i just saw from fucking- i'm not like then this was already like what maybe a little bit more than halfway through the movie now yeah a little bit yeah little so bit. yeah bro, i was kind of like losing it i'm not gonna lie guys like i kind of just wanted the movie to end mm-hmm. i was kind of getting over it I'm like okay like i've seen the- okay i get it um, so that, okay, that okay, yeah, that was a cameo. Uh, we all, uh, I think after that we get a cameo. Uh, don't get Pete, into the big ones yet. We'll do that later. Like these two. Yeah, I was gonna mention this one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I say. I was gonna say at one point we we go to London, right? And uh, I, they need like they need to buy shit off the black market, and so the um, the the girl who's like good on computer, I forgot her name. Uh, she knew yeah, someone, and that someone she knew was Pete Davidson, known yeah. as Ramsey. And Ramsey uh, is this black market dealer, whatever the fuck, who eventually sells them out because the contract yeah. on their heads was a lot of money. Yeah. So what shit. Jason Momoa did is he ended up hacking the Fast and Furious crew's like bank accounts, mm-hmm. stole all of their money, and distributed that money to many different types of hitmen. So now you see so many mercenaries and hitmen chasing after everyone, and then there's mm-hmm. like a big reward and stuff like that. And um, yeah. So that's what's happening. Sorry if you hear background noise, guys. Uh, but yeah, that's so that's what's happening, and it's typically like a John Wick, like a John Wick shit where everybody's yeah. after type mm-hmm. shit. Um, but yeah, so that's what happens. And uh, are we missing anything else, bro? That we didn't really uh, that we did like or not like? Um, I'm the, trying to think. I'm saying the, the only thing the dialogue, really... the script. Um, oh, that's. Do you remember that scene? I forgot his fucking name, bro. That scene with the. Um, was that fucking? Was that Captain Marvel, bro? What? 
uh, Carol Denver's the actress. Was, she, was yeah, that Brie her? Larson. That's that's Captain Marvel. Yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say, bro. I'm like, I for some reason I couldn't. Re- I, I by this point, guys, I was just kind of like, all right, like I couldn't recognize. Bro, her. hell nah, dude. She she. So this whole time, you, you you didn't know that was Captain Marvel. Like I knew. Like how do I explain this? Like I knew. Like oh shit, that's her. But then there were some shots where it didn't look like her. Really? Yeah, bro. I don't I, know, bro. What shots? Uh, like whenever there was like a side profile of her or something, I just couldn't recognize. Oh, I guess. Like, I, like, I, is this I fucking her? No, yeah, okay, I, so I, that I scene it. with her and then the big, uh, oh, the buff, g- white, white the guy, guy who's in charge of the agency now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not like explaining a, a, the an story. An example of just cringy dialogue. Yeah, he, bro, he's he's, like, he's explaining the lore of like who these people are. It's like they got, and it's kind of cringe because they're, they're like, he's like, but they, yet they always make it out. Mm-hmm. They they're. They were dra- they're originally drag street racers to turn to criminals and thieves stealing all this bullshit and you know and they always had each other they always had family mm-hmm. like all this bullshit they if you're looking for uh that they um what they say something about gravity they um broke the laws of gravity, gravity. they've done it twice or some yeah. bullshit i don't know and to me and, and that whole dialogue between them two like just felt cringy like their acting wasn't wasn't there for me like it felt like I feel you. It just felt it I mean, feel right. Dude. I mean, they're probably doing their best with that cringy ass script, bro. Like, like the writing in this film is just, dude. They, uh, they, they they portrayed the whole idea of like family so much in here. Like, it yo, felt like it was satire, every, bro. I, 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 I told Hector after me. I'm like, at this point, bro, they know what they're doing. That's what I'm saying. Like, it felt like they satire. Know what they're doing, yeah. like, like family, family, like with the cross. There's one. Yeah. What's that? There's a scene Mario where like it was like a serious scene, but you started bursting out like you were laughing. What you well, want? I think it was the part where like Dom had the cross or something, uh-huh. and he mentioned something that we got family, and like he gives the cross to somebody. I forgot who, bro. Well, he gave it to Brie Larson because Brie Larson went to to get Dom's wife out, but I don't remember. Ah, uh, I feel like I know what scene you're talking about. I'm trying to remember the scene though. Point is, it's the typical cross, the Jesus yeah. piece, uh-huh. and Dom is giving a sp- typical speech of family, and he mm-hmm. and he ends up grabbing the cross, and I think he he gets it. Or gives it to someone I can't remember, and Mario started laughing. He's like, he started like laughing, and I was like, kind of like laughing too, because it was like right in your face, like family. We got family. You're gonna see that throughout this movie, man. Mm-hmm. Family, family. And so, uh, and and that was another thing too with Jason Momoa's character is like he would, um, he would like fuck with that too. He's like, oh, he's your family. What are you gonna do? Or like. I don't know. He would like joke around about that. I don't know. I, I always I I liked him, man. He was mm-hmm. the star of the of the show. Another thing too is that there's a bunch of like side plots going on, bro. Yeah, yeah. So there's like bunch of little side yeah, plots going mm-hmm. on. Dom's fucking girlfriend, Dom's wife, whatever, in fucking Antarctica she because she got captured at the Rome thing. Yeah, Roman Roman and their group are trying to find their way to they're Dom. Trying, yeah, they say they're trying to regroup, and they don't yeah. even get to regroup. They just they, they literally just shows them trying to get to Dom, and then you never. Yeah, I understand it's a part one of a part three, right? Yeah. But you, they don't even get to catch up. And then you have Dom, who's just trying to get to his son. Yeah. Or no, trying to, be, trying to meet up on. with his son. But by, by at some point, you know, he gets Yeah, he with gets John ca- Cena. Yeah, he's trying he gets to meet captured, up yeah. But um, so there's like three separate plots. But like the one with Roman's group and Dom's wife group kind of... Like they're they are the side plots and they even not, if they're side plots they hold no weight to me in this movie. Yeah, and not gonna lie, bro. There's a point where we weren't necessarily in the main plot, which was Dom and the villain, mm-hmm. where I was like, kind of getting like, um, uh, I was kind of like, all right, bro. Like, I want to see more Jason Momoa. I want to see more of this. Like, can we skip this? I was like, I was feeling that. Which like, one was the one with Roman's group? Or yeah, Roman's group. Roman's group. I was like, all right, I don't care. Let's skip this. And I guess the only part I, I, I'm sorry, guys, I forgot. Another highlight of this movie for me. Yeah, it's just me being biased. I'm not going to lie. Jason Statham. Oh, yeah, when he appears. Jason yeah. Statham is in this bitch with, mm-hmm. when Han is trying to, like, regroup with him and stuff. And Jason Statham was like, only a dead man who comes through the door seeks for revenge or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And he ends, they end up fighting and stuff. And what do we know, man? Jason Statham, he knows how to play the badass roles. Like he's like one of my favorite actors, bro. But I guess that's another highlight. And you know, um, he finds out that his mother's being hunt, hunted down as well. Mm-hmm. So he starts loading up his double bag with his guns and takes a car. He's like, I'm about to go dig up some. No, he's I'm about to go dig some graves. <laughs> for real, and man. And he speeds yeah. off. I don't know. To me, I'm like, all right. He's, he's going We're probably going to gonna see that in the next week. I want you to bet, man. Yeah, bro. Like, so, yeah. 
So I guess that's another. Was he in the trailer? Uh, I was say, is that a maybe, cameo? Maybe. Is that a? Um, I, I don't really remember the trailer too much. When was the last time we saw him? Was he was he in the last movie? I don't think so. Until I the don't. Very, I think he wasn't there until the very end, right? Wasn't he? I, wasn't he the end credit scene in the last movie? What? Or am no. I tripping? No, 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 no. Not the in. last movie, bro. No, 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 no. Uh, this is why we need Hop, bro. I know, he right? Knows, <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Hobby knows the lore. He does know the lore. But um, okay, fine. We could just skip over that. Jason Statham, raw as fuck. Typical fighting. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? He's raw. Uh, there's a lot of fighting scenes here. I just some of them just didn't really hit for me. A right. lot of them are just over the top, bro. Like yeah. the one at the dam. Dude, uh, or no, no. Let's get before that. Let's go, let's go to the, the highway. Remember when Jacob, uh, they, his, uh, the base that they were supposed to meet up in got got uh, infiltrated. Like they, they got infiltrated by Jason Momoa's character. Like they found him, so they had to leave. Oh yeah, and, and they had that. Like they had this muscle car with like missiles on it. And he was, he was what, Finn McMissile, bro. Literally, right? Too. Like, <laughs> and here's the thing, bro. Like his, it's Jacob and yeah. Dom's son, right? Yeah, and. Literally, Dom's son, who's like no more than like eleven years old, twelve years old. He, from, I'm guessing he's like nine or ten, right? I'm gonna think ten. I'm gonna go with ten. Right. His son kills people. Remember? Oh yeah, right. Because in order in order to fire these like missiles that are on this truck, he has to pull the switch. And, and at first, it's Jacob who's doing. It. I was like, all right, he's gonna clearly do it. But then you get a shot where it's Dom's son who's pulling the, the lever, lever to kill. You. I'm like. And they're shooting the rockets and exploding I'm like, they the just cars. showed a kid killing motherfuckers. Like, she brought daylight. I was like, that's... I'm like, wow. I'm like, all right. Hey, man. Which just shows you how crazy this movie is, right? He'd be drifting out But there. then, something even crazier happens after that. When, um... So, at some point, right, they're in, like, this tunnel. Remember this part? <laughs> what part? And they're in this tunnel with Jacob. Jacob and... Oh, okay. Uh, because the, it gets jammed, remember? The thing gets yeah, jammed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jacob's like, it's jammed. I can't do anything about it. So then he looks to his right where Dom's son's supposed to be sitting. And Dom's son oh, got yeah. out the car. While, mo- while it's Climbed moving. on the roof. Got yeah. to the back of the car, like the trunk or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And it's, and it's like unjamming it. Yeah. But keep in mind, like he's going like fast as fuck. Yeah. He's going fast as fuck, right? And... I'm just like, bro, you just made Dom's son, who's like a kid, nine, ten well, years old. Well, he didn't old. make him, though. He, he didn't make him, but like, he cause did he, that. Because he looked, and he was already gone. He's like, what yeah. the fuck? And he did, he did it on now, his I'll own. I'll give you that. He didn't make him, but it's like, the, the writers made them. The writers did that. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. They wrote him to do that. I'm just like, bro, he's a Hey, kid. for the plot. Because because of that, that's how Jason Momoa's character was able to yeah, come up they, from yeah, behind they, and, and grab and, him. And grab I was him. like, oh, that's why they did it. They needed an excuse for him to grab him. Yeah. But... If you didn't think that was crazy, something shortly after even, even tops that. Which one? When, um, the, remember the helicopters? What, happens, what happens after this? The helicopters? No. Oh, does that happen? I don't remember. Or is it the one handed? No, not that. No, no, no. Because the one handed is this, before the scene. Right, no, no. It's just the same scene. the same scene. I'm going to explain it right now. Is when after Jason Momoa gets his uh, his son, yeah, they they continue racing. They get out of the tunnel and shit, right? And Dom, for, I forgot how, but he's on the other lane. Right, mm-hmm. and J- and Jacob, who's losing fuel, somehow he's losing fuel, so he's out of the race or whatever. They, sh- they shot his uh, his gas line or yeah, okay, they shot up his. I forgot how it happened, but he's losing fuel, and he's basically talking to Dom. He's like, "Dom, I'm out this race. You're gonna have to finish it." And Dom, like th- that that <laughs> dialogue was cringe, dude. I know. I'm out, I, I'm out this ra- like. Yeah. Sorry, Dom. It's they, on your own. They, thank you. Oh, and the way he it's calls Dom is like, th- th- "Thank you for being a big bro." Yeah, like, I'm almost like, dude, come on. Like you're on your man. own, Dom. I'm out of this race. Yeah. Like, so he, his, his, <laughs> where the these missiles would come out of, where rockets would come out of, they were horizontal, right? He then changes them to be vertical. So they he, face down. So like, they have the vertical. They face yeah, the, no, the, they face the ground because that's how he launches. He launches that's himself vertical, up. Yeah, that's in that vertical. I'm not saying it's going out that way. I'm just saying like it's just vertical, like it's a line. Oh yeah. yeah, okay. It's vertical, but the missiles, but the missiles are from are, the bottom, are coming from the, from the bottom. bottom. Yeah, yeah. So he does that, right? And so because there's a bunch of cars that are gonna go at Dom, basically cutting him off, yeah. and Jason Moa escapes. To prevent that from happening, Jacob launches these missiles, hops over to the other flips lane. His car. Yeah, flips his car over to the other other lane, killing all of the fucking bad guys that Blows were gonna up. cut off uh, Dom. The, yeah. And from what we, I, I told her this, Jacob dies right here. 
Yeah. Because they make it a big scene. They they show Dom reacting to it like, oh my like, god, my like he was yelling. Like he like it was one of those like scenes where like it he's yelling, but it's mute. The 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 yeah, it's mute. Yeah. But he's like you could tell he's yelling. No, whatever. Mm. And then uh, everything's engulfed in flames, bro. And I'm Blows telling, and I told Hector, I'm like, I'm telling Hector, he's not dead. Probably not. He's gonna appear and in we'll, the next and, movie, and we'll th- and we'll get to that in a bit. Yeah, but um, because because of that, and uh, that scene, bro, it was like a big moment because yeah. it was like the way they played it. It was supposed to be a serious moment. Like, I didn't oh, feel shit. Bro. I didn't feel shit. I'm either. not gonna lie to you. because <laughs> you just you just like with Fast and Furious, we know like oh, not everyone's truly dead unless you see a bullet go through their fucking head. They are not dead. Yeah, man. Right. But after that, Dom gets through that shit. You mean that was crazy? Jacob killing himself to save Dom and his kid. Nah, bitch. It gets more crazier after that. You see it in the trailer. The trailer? The two helicopters. Okay, but we're, now we're moving like in, in order. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let's go back. Put a pin in that. with The, heli- the trailer of the helicopters. I know what you're talking about. Let's go back before um, where Dom's kid got on top of John Cena's car and mm-hmm. was like, unjamming it. Because before that, they were having that fight scene on the bridge. On the bridge. Yeah, we're like Dom one handed. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, not, yeah, no, we're bridge. They're like, fighting on that yeah. bridge. The, yeah, that, right? that shit. Was- <laughs> There's a Mustang, like a maybe 2019, 2020 Mustang or something mm-hmm. that's like flipped on its side. Mm-hmm. So not completely flipped under over, but flipped mm-hmm. on its side, and they get ambushed by Jason Momoa and his army and stuff like that. Because because at this point, Dom was captured by that big uh, white buff dude the agency dude mm-hmm. and the uh they get yeah they uh they they shoot a missile at dom's like where he's um captured in the car flips over obviously there's like a whole like war kind of going down and the and the guy in the white and the, the the white dude i forgot his name the agency dude he he's like oh fuck you were right dom or whatever because i guess like you know he didn't believe him for something. I forgot. He's like, here, Dom. He throws him an, M- an MP, a, gun? a P90 yeah. or some Whatever shit. Whatever the fuck that gun was. I'm and so while Dom, gun. so this is what's crazy, man. Dom literally, like I said, this is super strange. Dom with one hand, because one hand he has a P90. The other hand, he literally flips over that Mustang with one hand. Mm-hmm. Picking it up like, like you hear him grunting. And he flips that shit over, dude, with one hand. Unbelievable. Mm-hmm. I never, when I saw that one, I was all right, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, like, that a whole ass I car. I get it. I get it. It's a movie. Like, these stunts, cool. But, like, when you're displaying super strength, all right, bro. And I guess it kind of goes back with John Cena. Do you remember uh, that first fight scene? Because they tried capturing Dom's uh, kid and... Um, uh, who, who, who was that again? Uh, Brian's wife. Yeah, uh, wife, yeah, yeah. Brian's wife, and they're there. And John Cena comes in because Dom sent him to oh protect my son and protect everyone, whatever. Mm-hmm. And there's this like fight scene between the agency or whatever and nah, John okay. Cena. And I know I just went backtrack a bit, but what I'm saying is like, do you remember it, uh, John Cena? There's a callback to where John Cena's uh, back to his WWE days, where he picks him up. The F U is it the F U? Nah, I don't remember what it was Do you was remember called? what it's called? Is the uh-huh. FU where like he picks him up and he does it. basically guys if you guys know from WWE John Cena like his finisher whatever they actually do do that. So John Cena does, does his finisher on this guy and as he like flips him over like in his finisher and he hits the ground that dude falls <laughs> he did it so hard he falls through the fucking ceiling mm-hmm. to the first floor. Yeah. It's like what the fuck, but all right, cool. I don't, like I, I, I get, we guys would just because you <laughs> just because you shot a couple rounds through the the, the floor, right, it makes it weaker. Yeah, that but, weaker uh, though. That yeah, weak. I know what I'm saying. It makes it weaker. It's so like, yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to bring that. I think it's called the FU guys, like. Or you can't. No, it's not that you can't see me. No, you can't see. No, me. No, you can't see me. Is the one where like his hand in the face. His hand, like, like yeah, he, he like, his hand in his face he and he drops like, down or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking about the FU. I think that's what it's called, man. Because I think they ended up changing it. Because it was like, like a uh, offensive or something. I don't know. But you guys know what I'm talking about, guys. So yeah, that's one thing. I was like, what the fuck. But anyways, Dom does that shit. Flips the fucking car with one hand. I was like, what the fuck. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. And then now, fast forward to where we at. And this is the part where you said we're, we're at the, the helicopters. We're at the helicopters. And we see this in the trailer. We see this in the trailer. So I don't really got to explain it, but like you see it's in the trailer. Yeah. And then the other part. Well, I don't know if it's crazy. It's crazy to me when like Dom is like, that's you ready right. for your final lesson? Oh yeah, dude. Oh that reminded me God. of, dude. I could have sworn there was a scene like that, because it probably was. I'm not gonna. Because deny. after Dom like shot, like dr- 
drag down those helicopters or whatever. Jason Momoa's car starts spinning in circles, drifting, and same with Dom. But like Dom gives like a speech to his son, like, remember that lesson? Mm. Feel the engine or like whatever feel the, the fuck. Feel the street. Feel the street. Feel the road. Feel the road. Feel me. <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit i don't fucking yeah, know yeah. and they start drifting together uh-huh. and then mm-hmm. they do that scene where like the kid opens the door, door. of J- jason momoa's car dom and too. and dom open his and the kid jumps from jason momoa's car to dom's car in the passenger seat and they do this while slow motion yeah slow motion while, while they're, they're drifting, drifting together mm, yeah i i could have sworn there was a scene like that I, i'm telling you bro there probably has been Hmm. I, I I wouldn't I would not because it looks it looked familiar, bro. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if I saw it in another Fast and Furious movie or in another movie in general. Yeah, huh? But yeah, to me, I was like, all right, cool. I guess Mario, that really hit you. You're like, what the fuck? Like, it's just you're a kid. I'm like, bro, like, come on. This is a kid. It's like when you do this shit with kids, it makes it like extra unbelievable, like like yeah. unlike unrealistic yeah. to me. Right, right. You know, if it was like another like a grown ass adult, I'd be like, all right, all right cool. Yeah, like you're pushing it, but I can, it's an adult, right? But a kid, a bro, kid. be putting him in this scenario. <laughs> like, this kid should have Wait, PTSD, you know, bro. You know what's funny? This kid should have PTSD. No, that that, you know what's... Yeah, even after killing people, blowing up with rockets. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, like, you know what's funny, though? It's like Dom said, remember what I taught you. Like, if they practiced, practiced yeah, this. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, remember what I taught you. Feel, feel the, the road. road. Feel blah, blah, blah. Feel me. Like, kind of like, like they've done this before. before yeah. And how did the kid know mm-hmm. to be like... All right, cool. I'm open the door and then he wants me to jump. jump. Yeah, yeah, I know. How did he know? It, dude, it, it, dude, this mo- Fast and Furious is filled with what the fuck moments. He's like, they're filled he, with what the fuck. He said, "How did he know, bro?" And mm. So okay, whatever. So and so eventually, that's how Dom ends up getting the kid. And now we're at the last part it's of the movie, movie where yeah. like it's actually yeah. more insane. Like what the, the fuck? The dam, right? You're yeah, we're at, we're at the, the dam. dam. Yeah, we're at the dam, and both and it's it's a one singular road on top of the dam. And then on each side of the road is being blocked off by semi trucks full with I guess, explosives. Propane tanks. Propane tanks. Yeah, yeah. self self driving cars because Jason Momoa has the tech that he stole or whatever, mm-hmm. and all the money that he stole, he has the tech. And so they have this whole speech of like, I wanted you to suffer, Dom, and like I'm taking your, I took your money, I took blah blah blah, I took your, I took your family, and then yeah. Dom does that one cheesy liner. But you didn't take, take my, my car. car. Yeah, you, you didn't take my car. Oh, we also should mention at this what? scene that Roman's group does kind of regroup with Dom. Oh yeah, not really. Plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, the, they're in a plane heading to the the rendezvous. Yeah. And Roman's like, "We got you, Dom. We're here." But it turns out the oh, yeah. that the age the agency white dude I forgot his name was pay, playing was being like a double agent where he he thought. Dom, he, well, Dom yeah, thought we he was thought, on our side. Yeah, we thought he was on our side. But, but it turns wasn't. out, uh, uh-uh, he's playing you again. He's still on Jason Momoa's side. And he shoots down one of he, one of the propellers. He's got the plane. Joker missile rocket launcher, bitch. Yeah, he the shoots. javelin. The javelin. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the, the javelin. javelin. There we go. And um, <laughs> he fucking shoots the engine of that plane. And like I said, they're not dead. <laughs> and then the corner, yeah, like in the back shot of him, he's standing yeah. there with the javelin. He's uh-huh. like, y'all thought. And then does like one of those jigs. Have you seen Saw? No, I have. Oh, I, I seen one of them. I think. Them okay, so ones. like, if you for you guys who saw who saw saw whatever, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, at the end of the movie, they they reveal everything like, dun, and then they play the music, dun, dun, and it's like, oh my god, the twist. So mm-hmm. here, when the dude, when the white guy, the agency dude that we thought he was in our side, he has a javelin and it starts playing back of like where he was in the beginning of the movie and everything, mm-hmm. like some jigsaw shit. For all my saw fans, you guys know what I'm talking about, like the big reveal. They do that shit, mm-hmm. and then right behind him. We see the plane go like go around a mountain, mm-hmm. and then all we see is a huge flames, bro. Explosion. So we're and led like, to believe that they're, they're dead. I'm gonna be real. They're not dead. I'm gonna be real. What? When I saw that, I didn't. It didn't really affect me. Me neither. Like, because you know, you want to lie. Think, because you know they're not dead. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You at this point, these these movies have developed a reputation where. If someone dies, bro, it's like, no, they're, they're going to come up with some stupid ass fucking reason to why they're fucking alive or some shit, you know, because Fast and Furious, for some reason, they don't like to commit to killing off characters for some fucking reason. And we'll get to it at the end with the biggest yeah. what the fuck. And even after that, the I mean, bigger what the fuck. <sighs> yeah. You know what I mean, but uh, we get back to the and, but, didn't take my but, I, but, we'll but I know I know like most fans probably would have felt that like, oh, <gasps> no. But I didn't feel shit. I, didn't I was feel like, shit oh, okay, either. like, and he, like I said, because you you pretty much nailed it and stuff. And so anyway, so that happens. He's like, but you didn't take my, my car. car. We're back to the you, you didn't take my car mm-hmm. and floors it, and 
and as oh and God. as he floors it, the, these two semi trucks crash into each other with the, like with this huge explosion, and Dom ends up driving like um, through through the concrete because he drives yeah, the concrete barricade. Yeah, he like lifts his muscle car a yeah, little bit he, mm-hmm. and he crashes through the concrete and he and he goes down the dam. And you know, guys, you guys know a dam like you know the dam where like the water kind of runs down or whatever into mm-hmm. like a it's slide. It's like kind of slanted. Yeah, it's curved. like a slide. It's literally yeah, like a slide. Yeah, like a like a steep ass slide. Mm-hmm. Dom makes it on that steep slide and is legit all ride wheels. all four wheels. He didn't flip over no, like this, like nothing. lean forward like that. No, no. he stays like this. <laughs> no, I don't know how. Gra- hey, he beats I gravity. Know. I don't know how he, he did beats it. gravity three times, bitch. All right, <laughs> make it three times. Yeah. Hey, the next time they have an intel, he done. They uh, he done beat they, gravity three times. Three times. Yeah. Last movie was twice. Yeah. Now it's three times. So like he is legit all four wheels driving down the fucking damn slide as the explosion is chasing him and like mm-hmm. obviously he does the traditional my turn mm-hmm. and he he does his nitrous mm-hmm. Which it's a cool is, shot this is, cool. No, this, this is like cool this. like this is this is where like the where the camera starts chasing around his arm and mm-hmm. chase into the nitrous and the engine and whatever mm-hmm. it plays back to the first couple of fast and furious yeah, movies where they do that i like that so yeah. i like that part i was like, all right cool that's cool it's like homage type of thing mm-hmm. um and they end up there. You go. They end up doing it. They land in the water. They end up in the water in that car. They both end up getting out. Fucking Dom and his son, and they mm-hmm. both start swimming up. Thank God his son knows how to swim. Yeah, right. Thank God, right. And they finally get to like to a rock spot. Everything's like on fire or whatever. And they get to a rock and stuff. Jason Momoa was like. <laughs> What does he say? I forgot. He's like, he says like, oh, you, you suffered enough, but now, like, oh, your oh, suffering yeah. is over. Now it's time for you to die. Time for you to die. And then all we see is like huge uh, rigged explosions yeah. on that the fucking dam. he already set up. Yeah. So I don't know when, but he, it's already set up on every pillar of the dam. Because yeah. you know what's funny? At this scene, when he survived it, I was like, damn, I'm, I'm like shocked they didn't blow up the dam. Because it's like, it's perfectly set up for the dam to blow up. Yeah. Right. But well, when I saw go. the explosion, I was like, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew they were gonna blow up the dam. Yeah. And I was like, there's no way they don't blow up the dam knowing this fucking franchise. And so like, so all we see is the is the is the setup the, the explosive setup on the dam, and mm-hmm. it's like, oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, it's about to blow up, and then it cuts. We get away from them. A hard cut, like straight up. Hard and it, cut. we go back to Antarctica and, uh, with Dom's uh, wife and that w- blonde chick that ended uh, up killing. Char- um, Char- her name is her actor her name is name, uh, Charlie or Charles Theron. Yeah, Theron, like, uh, some shit like that. She killed. Um, who did she kill, bro? I, she honestly, killed, bro, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot I, who, I forgot who were, she man. killed. I forgot. Let us know in the comments. Mm-hmm. But anyways, it's they hold like strong resentment toward towards this her, person. Yeah. So anyways, uh, but she's the reason why she was able to get uh, Dom's wife out um, of the out of the imprisonment stuff. Mm-hmm. And now they're in Antarctica and shit. And then all we see is them going up top of like a hill. All we see is like this submarine coming yeah, up through the fucking, fucking ice, ice and everything. Mm-hmm. And we're like, what the fuck a submarine? We're, okay. And we're confused as fuck because we're like, wait, if we're led to believe that Roman's group is dead and Jacob is dead and now Dom is over there in Portugal. I think they were in Portugal. Who the fuck is driving the submarine? Yeah, it's like, who the fuck is this? So the submarine gets out through the ice, like Hector said, and the hatch opens. And me and Hector look at each other, and we're like, ain't this bitch dead? Yeah, bro. Which goes back to our fucking point, where it's like, we don't feel shit, because these motherfuckers always come back. We're about to say it. Gal Gadot, I forgot her character's name, is fucking back. She yeah. goes through the hatch. She's the one that opens. She's the one that's meeting up with Charlie's Theron character, whatever you say her name, in Antarctica. She's the one driving that bitch, bro. Yeah. And we're like, what the fuck is going on? How the fuck is she alive? Her, her it's uh, Giselle. Giselle, your name? So Giselle. Yeah, How she, the fuck is Giselle? Supposedly alive? she. Di- yeah, because like I said, I can't remember. She died in Fast and Furious, uh, the sixth one. The sixth one. Okay. Yeah, she died in the sixth one. Apparently, that's what we're led to believe. And apparently, like it was a huge moment for the family. But now I mean, we yeah, know she's back. Yeah. She's alive. Like, what the fuck? And for fuck? some reason, never contacted Han. None of that. <sighs> because Han know. and her had a thing, right? Yeah. So it's like, if you liked Han, why the fuck if you, you were alive? And that's another thing with Han. We, we thought Han we, was we thought dead. Han was remember, dead how they, too. remember how they brought him back? Yeah. It's like, I'm okay, telling you, dude. Bro, Dom's wife was supposed to be dead. Like, oh, yeah. I fucking remember. Then... Do you remember? That's right. Don't you remember when Dom had that like sidekick ability? Where like, remember he was just standing in the middle of the street and he painted the picture of what was happening. 
Do you remember that? No, I don't, bro. Because Dom was trying to figure out what happened to his girlfriend. Remember how the because she was being chased and the car flipped this over might and be, shit? This might be one of the movies I missed out on, bro. Not maybe why. Dude, there was a moment. Okay, so I can't, I, cause I, can't, I can't remember the full details, guys. If you guys know, if you guys are watching this or if you guys know, you guys know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> maybe when Hav comes or whatever, he can explain it to us. Mm. But there was a scene where fucking um, Dom's uh, girlfriend was like being chased and her car flips over and something happens to her. And so what Dom does, he goes to the scene of the accident. And he pulls a criminal minds bullshit where he stands in the middle of the street mm-hmm. and he's envisioning everything. Mm-hmm. And then he envisions it and then he sees exactly what happened. He sees the car flip over him and stuff. Oh like, my God. Like he sees, like he I think, sees I think I know what, what happened. I think, I think I, you could, yeah, you pictured it in my mind. Oh my God. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to pull up a thread. I'm going to pull up a, there's a, there's a Twitter thread of like uh, making fun of the Fast and Furious. Like, yo, when was the last time like where you guys. What was a scene in Fast and Furious where you said, all right, they're taking it too far. I'm done. Mm-hmm. And there's a bunch of people pulling up scenes. <laughs> oh, my God. And, it's probably funny. And there's a, and there's that scene. Because uh-huh. it's funny because Dom does that, but then we don't see him ever do it again. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about, guys. Whatever. I don't remember the full details, but I do remember he did some shit like that. But, anyways, why did I say this again? Because I, we, we were at... Uh, what? Because people were... I was saying how like how Dom's wife died, but... Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. But, so yeah, uh, guys, that's what yeah, Giselle <sighs> Galgado. She's back. She's bro. back, and we're and it. I think it ends there, right? That's when it goes end credits. Yes, and then it goes end credits, bro. And we're like, that, okay, that was that's the end. That's the ending. Wow. And then we get like a mid credit scene. A mid credit scene. And all we all we see is these group of like soldiers, agencies, like, lot, or like, like some bullshit. Equip the fuck out with all these gadgets. Yeah, and, shit. and then one of them ends up going to like a theater type room by himself. By himself because he hears noises, and then mm-hmm. he gets like a phone call, and I think it's Jason Momoa's character. Yeah, because there's a there's a there's a phone just laying there. Yeah, well, they're literally just laying there, and the phone rings, and it is Jason Momoa saying, "You were there. You were the one that pulled the trigger." You, the you were the yeah, you were the one that put the trigger killed mm-hmm. my father and uh we see that uh it is hobbs i mean it's his name hobbs right i think so hobbs he, he unmasks he unmasks himself mm-hmm. and it's for the fucking rock the rock Dwayne the rock and Jesus. then himself he says a, a line i forgot what the fuck it was but it was very cheesy you know he says like well come and find me or like i'm not hard to find or something like that. I, I forgot what he says. But he's like, I'm not hard to find. And he fucking crushes the, the phone, phone with yeah, he his crushes, hands. Yeah, he crushes the phone with his like, hands. Whoosh, that's funny as fuck. And then to we're me, like, okay, shit, he's To back. me, I was confused because I could have sworn I, I seen on the internet where it's like The Rock and Vin Diesel had beef, like IRL beef. So yeah, I was did. surprised. I was like, wait, if he had beef with Vin Diesel, what the fuck is he doing in this movie? Is this before the beef or after the beef? It's funny I'm yeah. saying that before the beef or after the beef. <laughs> no, yeah. this No, it's true. Uh, uh, I guess they had real life beef and they couldn't really, uh, what's it called? Work um, together. Work together. And that's why some scenes, like I, I, can't, I forgot what movie it was, but there was scenes where they had a sh- they hated each other, bro, that they had to film separately. Mm-hmm. So that's why some scenes, if like, let's say I'm talking right here and then the rock is right here facing this way. You know those typical things where like you're walking past someone, but mm-hmm. y'all stand next to each other and y'all are like, don't let your guard down. <laughs> you know, like you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, don't let your guard down. And you're looking like you're guys right beside each other. Mm. There was a scene like that, and no they're not fa- they're not face to face because of that. They had to film separately. Wow. I can probably, I can probably find it. You probably can't find it. But um, but yeah, oh, like, that's I didn't why. Know that. So I guess Damn. I don't know what happened. Maybe they squashed the beef. Maybe uh, Vin Diesel was like, "Hey man, one last ride." No, maybe he was Come like, on. "He was like, hey man." No, no, no. He was like, "No way." He was like, "Hey man, think of the money though." No. <laughs> Dude, 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 dude. Oh what? my gosh. Here's here's my prediction. Here's my prediction. What? Ready? Mm-hmm. Because this is my prediction. We cuz we thought that The Rock had real life beef with Vin Diesel. That is why you know, we thought he was going to be in this movie and like he was going to be in future films, right? Mm-hmm. And maybe it was honestly going to be that way. But maybe be- because he is in this film, the reason behind that is because things didn't go well with Black Adam. Cause he was setting up to he was setting up Black Adam v Superman, and then once James Gunn came in the picture and kicked him to the curb, mm. he's like, "All right, Vin Diesel, you right. One last ride. Let me get the bag on the fat new Fast Fuck. and Furious. Let me get, Maybe, let me, let me bro. Get, you know what I mean? It's not a bad theory. I'm not saying it's that crazy. Cause you, well, it, it, all we gotta know is when shit was being filmed, like timetables. Because if the timetables match up, who knows? That's my theory. Mm. I think that's what happened, bro. I think that's what happened. It's like once. The Rock, his plan with Black Adam and everything flopped. 
he's like, "All right, fuck it, I'll go back." Because like this, this is the scene that he could that they could have filmed easily. Really yeah. Quick. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. And they could have added it. You know what I mean? It could have mm-hmm. been recent. Mm-hmm. You never know. But yeah, so now we know he's gonna be in the next movie. Everybody's gonna be in the next movie, and yeah, hopefully this fucking franchise could die. Hopefully well, we, we got two it. more. Hopefully, I swear to God, bro, if that third movie comes out and it's like, well, guys, we're not done. I'm, I'm done. I'll we're give a done. fuck. I'm, I'm, dry. I'm not watching them again. And I'll, I'm giving this trilogy the. It's it. After this, bro, I'm done watching Fast and Furious. I'm, I swear to God, bro, I'm, I'm fucking done. Like if they come out and they say like, oh, guys, the, the third movie, right? That's supposed yeah. to come out. The last one in the trilogy. We're doing a reboot next year. Yeah, yeah with the same set of characters, just new story. I'm like, no, I'm done. I'm not watching your shit. I'm done. Yeah, man. But yeah, it's man, just... that was that was the that was the end credit scene. We're not end credit scene; it's mid mid credit scene. My but bad. That was the only thing. Yeah. That was the only one. Um, oh man, I, I, I don't know, bro. This yeah. movie, a lot. Of, I, I I just my, I don't think I have a single positive, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Damn, really? May I? Like I said, I enjoyed the not drag racing scene, positive? like the the racing scene in Brazil. I enjoyed, but yeah, I yeah, think bye. they ruined it with the explosions. You know what I mean? Like I wanted just a pure. I thought I was gonna get a pure racing scene. I was like, bad racing scene, and they're probably gonna end off with like Dom or with um Jason Momoa's character threatening him, like, and he walks away because like he can't do nothing about it or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's how I thought they were going to do it. And I, I enjoyed that scene. That and, was my favorite and scene. And the race wasn't even long, too. And the race was not long, bro. Was fast I enjoyed it because I'm like, bro, I'm getting like OG vibes right now. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, let's get it, bro. You got the girls. Let's, you got the nice car. Let's race. You got the money. You got the flag girl doing the class. I'm like, yeah. let's, like you know, that shit. I'm just like, that's, this is Fast and Furious to me, bro. And that's truly like the only scene I somewhat <laughs> enjoyed. I'm going to be honest with you. Everything else, bro, I'm just like, nah, bro. Hey, hey Mario, one thing for sure, bro. Cause you could take my money, you could take my house, you could take my underwear, you could take everything, my family, but you could never take away my car. <laughs> oh my! God. One last ride, ride or die. One last time, some Uncharted type shit. One last time, one last ride, or whatever the fuck. One Remember last. in the trailer for Uncharted what? Four? It's Which like one? Sullivan. You, you can you can Google it or not YouTube it. Like just search up like Uncharted Four trailer. You uh-huh. probably find it. It's like them. You don't see them, but it's like a voiceover of them looking over the map of the entirety of what like the game. Oh take okay. Place. And then Sullivan, like, trying to convince Drake, where he's like, one last time. And then Drake goes, yes, Sully, one last time. Yeah, but but that hits harder. It, that hits harder, though. But they meant it. Yeah, they meant it there, <laughs> Here, motherfucker. Here's, like, one last ride for the day. Yeah, like, if someone dies on Uncharted, someone today. dies on Uncharted. Yeah. Here, if someone dies, man, you might see him in two movies from now. Yeah, man. Like, Gal Gadot, we, she died in six. We, we Now we see her in ten. The fuck? Yeah. I just yeah man it's just this movie which is not it for us guys I don't know if you guys liked it that's perfectly fine like Everyone. you enjoy what you enjoy man it's yeah. just, remember this is just our opinion y'all please like remember that it's yeah, just our is, opinion yeah this is all our right opinion. But, and like I'd be butting heads too with Hive man like, yeah all of them me yeah for sure I'd be butting heads with Hive because I'm like Hive this shit's trash he's like no bro it's raw mm-hmm. fuck you Hive if you're listening uh, uh, but yeah I mean okay let's get to our ratings tomorrow do you want to I mean we well we both well, I said my rating first after the theater, then you agreed. Well, fuck, after talking about it, bro, I might change it, man. Oh, okay, okay. You can, you, go, you can go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, so I pretty much gave all my thoughts. I'm going to give my rating, and my rating is going to be four. I'm giving this a four. Okay. What was yours? Because we agreed on that after the movie, but we then did, you... did, but then after talking about okay. it, bro, and realizing how much <laughs> more shit this movie actually is... Oh shit! And how I really I don't because like with I guess you, the reason why it's a four because I really like Jason. That's Moore's what I'm character. saying. Like with me, like I he made me laugh, but I, overall, like I just yeah, couldn't. You don't really like him. Buy into his character. Mm-hmm. To me, bro, I think this is a three. Wow, this is a three out of ten. This bro. is honestly probably going to be our lowest rated movie this year so far, and I think maybe overall. I'm yeah, not lie, I mean, unless we have another fluff. Like, the only thing I ever see something getting lower of this is if we, like, for example, we, Flash. And the Flash flops. Or about uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. We didn't see that one. Shit, that could also be a low one because that, not the highest production, but hey. Or The no, Grinch. We missed that one, too. That one, no, that probably would have gotten a two or a one. Let's be real. That would have probably gotten a two <laughs> I still want to check it out, bro. I, I just want to check it out, but I got to be, like, a little bit tipsy yeah. to check that shit. I'm Shut bad. up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so you gave it a three. I gave, I gave it a four. four. Hav gave and it a seven. Hav, Hav probably. No, I'm kidding. We don't know what Hav gave it. It's a 10 out of 10 for him. Yeah, for real. No, it's a 10 out of family. 10 out of family. <laughs> it's a 10 slash family. That's the uh, score. 
uh but yeah guys the, yeah that's gonna be the review sorry we couldn't get we, we couldn't go super in depth like i said me and mario and i we don't really know the lore like that because mm-hmm. we only saw the movie once since when they came out uh but yeah guys that's gonna be it uh thank you guys so much for listening and remember don't let your past haunt you guys take care peace